Welcome to Dorset. Today we're in a field of opium poppies and we're here for sunset. Great to see you all again, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Today, look at this. We've got a beautiful field, absolutely rammed full of opium poppies. Now, usually you'd expect something like this to be in somewhere like Afghanistan. I mean, you've all heard of opium poppies. You all know what they're about. But no, this is my very own beautiful sunny Dorset and we've got a field here. Now these are quite unique because they're specifically grown under license for the pharmaceutical industry. And these poppies will actually end up in the manufacture of things like codeine and morphine. And uh, you know, they're obviously something that's very, very valuable to uh, the health industry. Uh, so they're all grown in quite large numbers in fields here, uh, but it makes a stunning, stunning landscape for uh, us to shoot as well. It's not like a standard wild red poppy. These are, as I say, specifically grown. Uh, now this particular field, um, if you look around this area, there's a few of these fields here, but a lot of them have got things like pylons in or telephone lines and things like that, and they're not particularly attractive to look at. But we've got a beautiful church just down here, right at the back, and it looks absolutely stunning. And with the setting of these beautiful poppies, it's a shot made in heaven. Now I was lucky enough to stumble across this shot uh, around, I think it was about 2015, and I'll stick the shot up, and uh, it was a field slightly adjacent to this one. And uh, I saw this beautiful composition with this beautiful line of poppies, and then of course this church right in the background, and I was so, so lucky to get it. And it was one of those shots that remained off the radar for absolutely years and years. This year though, however, it has been discovered by uh, a fair few people. And uh, as is the case, when someone puts it on social media, everybody then flocks to it. So it's been a little bit of a nightmare to try and get down here and try and get the place to myself. And it's a, it's a shame that it has been sort of, you know, seen by so many because the shot becomes a little bit less special, but uh, it is the way it is. It's the nature of photography. These things happen, social media these days, it will just blow a location sort of wide open and there's not a lot you can do about it. So you just kind of got to roll with it. But uh, yeah, it is particularly beautiful there is really, however, only one real composition in here, uh, which is standard poppies in the front, church at the background. But what we're trying to do is capture that church with beautiful golden light beaming down onto it. That's the whole aim of today. If we can get that, it'll be fantastic. I'm going to be here probably till sunset, but I'm not looking to get a sunset shot because A, there's very little cloud out there. It's not looking particularly good and it is meant to go a little bit clear later on. So we're going to use the available light to hopefully capture that church really make it look nice and of course the poppies themselves they'll all illuminate up as well and uh, we should hopefully end up with a really really nice shot out of it but uh, there won't be loads and loads there's only really as I say one composition wherever you go wherever you move up and down the field there's still just a church with poppies in front of it there might be the odd location where we've got some sort of tracks leading down but none of them go directly down to the church so you know we're just going to have to try and sort of get a little bit creative with it I've got a few ideas for something later on that I might be able to try but uh, we'll see how we get on but for the moment, as I say, we're aiming for one shot. Uh, we're going to hopefully get the light on that church and it should be a good one. Now, these poppies, they're a little bit of a hard thing to shoot down here. Um, as you can see from sort of the background, there's a lot of poppies that have already dropped their petals. And I'm here quite early in the season, to be fair, a lot earlier than I'd like to be. Um, but you have to get here early because the moment the wind starts, which is what's forecast this week, all of these petals will just drop out straight away. And there's a lot that haven't actually, you know, got to the point of flowering yet, but there's an awful lot that the petals have actually gone. So it's very much a race against time, this one. So I'd like the field to be a little bit more full, especially on the horizon there. I'd really like to see that absolutely full of white poppies, but uh, I just, I can't get it with uh, those conditions. So we're gonna have to take what we've got. Um, these poppies, as you can see, they've got uh, a beautiful little sort of stem to them. And uh, as it goes up, it goes up into a little ball. And what you've got inside 
there is a, like a latex substance and that's what they actually refine to make this um, you know sort of pharmaceutical grade uh, basically morphine for it and uh, the poppy itself I think the Latin name actually translates uh, into uh, flower of sleep so you know it's obviously got a huge history within the pharmaceutical industry and uh, it's something that's been used for years and years for all sorts of uh, medical occasions. Those of you who are keen on the uh, show Game of Thrones, you'll have noticed that they tend to use whatever sort of happens in there. The, uh, the cure for it was milk of the poppy. Well, there you go. That's exactly what they're talking about. And it comes from these little chaps right here. Now the poppies themselves, they do vary in colour depending on exactly what strain they're grown. And uh, these particular ones, we've got quite a white uh, sort of flower, but then they've all got like a little purple head just towards uh, the bottom of it. And um, it really, really does make for a nice shot. But uh, depending on how you take the shot, obviously it can really sort of spoil on the colour. So you don't want to go too bright with these because otherwise everything looks completely white and they're not. They've got this little tinge of purple just down the bottom end of the flower in uh, petal on there. So uh, you want to pay careful attention to experience on this one. Because we're using light right on that church we're gonna probably use a, a grad filter on this one and uh, we're probably gonna shoot on a long lens and the reason I want to shoot on a long lens is because I want a nice close shot of that church. So that's my main subject on here. Despite the fact that the poppies are what it's all about the real focal point is going to be that church. Now I've toyed with several ideas here about uh, how to shoot it, whether it's best to incorporate a line of poppies at the front and maybe focus on them, focus stack and uh, then do a shot of the uh, church itself or what my probably preferred method is, is to focus just on the church and let the focus fall right back uh, from the front poppies because then it leads your eye straight to that church. The poppies should be um, like a suggestion in my mind of these rather than a really, really sort of sharp row of poppies at the front. But I'm probably going to try both. I'll stick them up. Let me know at the end what you think is best. Maybe the focus stack one or just the image where the poppies actually fall off and are a bit out of focus, but then the church is nice and sharp. Probably going to stick on uh, an aperture of around sort of f16 to try and get a little bit in focus as it comes back from the church. But uh, if we do focus stack, I'll probably drop that down to uh, something like you know f8, f11, and get the individual shots exactly as I need them, and then blend them all together in post. As I said before, this shot is completely light dependent. So without that light coming onto that church and lighting it up, it really just doesn't work. So uh, I'm very much governed by that and uh, light's what I really, really need here. Um, standard setup using the Case Armour polarizer and uh, gonna sit on a grad looking at this sky, probably around about 0.6. Don't really want to go too hard because the sun's coming from behind me here and it's looking directly down onto that church. And if I really put a heavy grad on, what's gonna happen is because these poppies are so bright, they're gonna overexpose on those and really don't want that so it really is a balancing act. The sky is just a fraction brighter than the poppies themselves so we should be able to balance it pretty much with a 0.6 grad. Now these poppies they generally flower around about July and they run usually sort of up to sort of August at some point but uh, July is kind of the peak time for these really and uh, as I say I am shooting them a little bit early it's right at the start of July here although this video I'm sure will come out maybe a month later or so but uh, as you can see they're already starting to drop and as you go further around and there's some other fields here they're really sort of not very many petals on those and those ones are in a slightly later stage of growth there uh, so they haven't really come through yet so there is an opportunity to get something else but as I said the compositions on the other fields they're just not as interesting and what I really don't want here is I don't want to be doing a shot of poppies into a sunset as much as that is a pretty thing it just doesn't really gel with me I like to see these with light on them showing them at their best and uh, a nice decent subject at uh, the back of the scene that's my personal choice uh, others will differ but that's what I'm here to do going to have to uh, pay careful attention to our ISO at the moment because we have got a fair bit of movement in these poppies. It's quite windy and as I say we've got a lot of wind forecasts for the coming weeks so I have to be uh, a little bit careful. Um, it's quite bright at the moment so we don't need to drop the ISO too much but uh, I'm probably going to sit around about 200 uh, on the ISO just to counter any movement in those poppies um, even though realistically the church is the hard subject and if the poppies do sway about it might even give a nice effect so I'm going to play around see what happens but uh, predominantly probably shooting around about uh, 200 on the ISO. The way I'd really like to get this shot ideally would be a massive storm cloud behind the church and some good golden light coming in. That would be absolutely perfect. We haven't got that today and uh, as I say these poppies aren't going to be here forever so uh, I really have to take a little bit of what I've got. Uh, this is what we've got today. It's quite bright, a little bit of cloud out there but uh, it does make some interest and if we're cropping in on the long lens hopefully that cloud will sort of condense down a little bit and uh, it'll seem like there's more in the scene than there probably is so it shouldn't look too bad but uh, we'll give it our best and 
and see what we can get. While we're on the subject of clear blue skies, I thought I'd, I'd mention something about this because, you know, as photographers, our aim is kind of to get that dramatic, moody sky quite a lot. But um, if you're shooting for anything like a magazine and specifically travel magazines or anywhere, you know, uh, sort of for a local magazine, for example, I shoot for Dorset Life uh, quite often. And these guys really, really like to have images with clear sky because unlike photographers where we're trying to show the drama of everything, they're trying to show the beauty of a place. And, you know, imagine this place that's sun all the time, clear sky, that's the image that they're trying to create. So don't be afraid of clear skies. Do shoot them because there's always a chance that you're going to be able to sell those pictures on and uh, a big thank you to Dorset Life magazine by the way who uh, one of these great magazines who still support photographers still pay for photography and uh, don't ask for it for free like uh, a lot of other publications so thank you Dorset Life. As I say not lots of shots today not loads of compositions so I'll stick a couple of these shots up see what you think I'd love to hear from you in the comments and let me know did you prefer the focus stacked image or do you prefer the image where it's just a straight fall off and the focus is sort of weaker at the front going into a sharp focus at the back of the scene let me know. I hope you guys have enjoyed uh, shooting the opium poppies with me today. It's been great to have you here. Thanks so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And if you have enjoyed it, please do hit that like button. It really does help the video to get out and I'd be super grateful. And if you're not a subscriber, please do consider subscribing. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. I'll see you next time.